what's good everyone it's your girl i'm actually if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not new what's good what's up just want to state that niger looks amazing on me okay carry on carry on and i know i have not posted in like a minute but i have an explanation okay um i'm moving to like us <laughs> Okay, um, so I decided that I'm going to do a recap video basically just telling you guys what's going on, what I've been up to, why I haven't posted. What I'm doing is I'll be taking down my hair. Yeah, so as of today, today's date is Monday, December 28th. Hold on, let me close it. 2020, we have like three, I'll be three days. Let's count. Sorry, my image is crashing. Three days left in 2020. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm quite excited. You don't know. You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> And I'm, I think I'm even more excited to be spending the new year in Nigeria. I entered a new age in Nigeria. I entered, I'm entering a new year in Nigeria, and I think, I think that's why I'm more so happy. Oh, just a really quick recap while I take down these braids, and I have no scissors, so I'm gonna have to take them down from like the bottom to the top. Enjoy the noises of Okadas and possibly a car honking in this video. Um, so where do I start? So I got to Nigeria in the beginning of December. And um, basically, um, yeah, I spent my birthday in Nigeria, so here's a few clips on that. Start from the beginning. Pray for me now. My kiss. Close your eyes. Pray for me. This is Nike. Hmm? No, Lord. Thank you, Father. I have done for you. And my sister's birthday is November. December. December. Mm -hmm. And she's birthday is going to December. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Amaranti. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, what's good? What's up? Okay, my nails look crazy. But anyway, so today is my birthday. Yes, I'm in Nigeria. My birthday. I'm on y'all. And I got my hair done already. And I just didn't make up any for my lashes on because what? But yes, yeah, so today your girl is 22. I'm so happy to be in Nigeria on my birthday. I'm happy for the things that God has in store for me this double double year or whatever. So today I'm going to um, a restaurant and then later probably go to a movie or something like that. I'm not really completely sure what I'm doing, but I'm going to follow you guys. Sorry, you people will follow me around today on what I'm doing. I will try my best to take my nails off because I look this is very ghetto, but it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, I just want to start off this vlog. And I'm so sorry for posting late. But honestly, y'all, the way I'm feeling is no stress life. When I'm more shine, I'm more shine. When it's my time to blow, I go blow. So for now, just be supporting me. When the time comes, because it's not very far, I will blow. I can't come and be stressing myself, trying to do all this extra posting. Because honestly, my heart is not there. I'm only doing it because, oh, I want to blow. Let me see, maybe one of the videos will blow. There's no point of doing all that. You just live your life. And when it's your time to shine, you're going to shine. Period. So yes, happy birthday to me. Comment section up below to me happy birthday because it's my birthday. Okay, even if it's this, even though the video may go up on Christmas, it's my birthday. Okay, period. Okay. But anyway, I love you guys. Oh, sorry. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Let's buy. Let's buy one of the little bigger.
three, sorry. my birthday this year um i didn't see it coming my parents definitely surprised me like mad i just want to let any man know that the standard has been raised too high like if you want to propose to me i need a helicopter because my parents just, my parents have already done the whole um saxophonist thing for me now so the standard is now high i want to discuss is being an ijgb if you don't know what an IJGB is, an IJGB is, and I just got back, basically somebody who just got back from abroad and is coming back to Nigeria, and usually they only stay for December, and um, the is ending up still yet. <laughs> but I just want to talk about it in the sense of like, I feel like, I don't know about anybody else if they have this feeling, but sometimes it's very annoying when coming back home, because... You're too African for the Americans and you're too American for the Africans. Like it's like people, it's like you constantly have to just keep um, reintroducing yourself to, honestly, I feel like mainly if you live on the mainland, you're constantly always having to prove people. That, oh no, I'm Nigerian. Like I'm as Nigerian as it comes. Oh no, I, I know about Nigerian politics. Oh, I know about NSARS. Like <laughs> You constantly have to keep reminding people. I know the other day somebody asked me, oh, will you eat pepper soup? Mama, it's pepper soup that I can even cook self. What are you saying? Like, and it's irritating because like, who has time to constantly be like, oh, I understand Igbo, I actually can even speak small. Oh, I can speak broken as if I was born here. Like, at the end of the day, I feel like it's also a device to the enemy, like to try and make you not be feeling like your identity. As for me, I do not consider myself American. I am a Nigerian, that's just period. I don't care if I was born in America, or my, I am a Nigerian. I don't need to prove it to anybody. At the end of the day, it's my own life. What I decide to call myself is what I decide to call myself. When it comes to anything else, when people, when you see a Mexican, you don't say, oh, you're Mexican-American. No, you tell the person that they're Mexican. That's why I would like to be addressed as, please do not call me American in my comments. Do not call me African-American. I'm not. I am a Nigerian. Period. There's a lot of things when it comes to relationship wise. Like I constantly always feel like somebody's either talking to me because they want papers or <laughs> because they want some kind of money. Like I've been approached by somebody that basically every single time, and I don't care if he sees the video. <laughs> every time he talks to me, he always asks me for money. And I just feel like, first of all, I would never give you money. Second of all, shift like it's just irritating when it comes to that or you get inconsistent guys guys who want to hit you up because it's december and they're looking for their i just got back babe you're welcome to niger and to be quite frank i'm not that <laughs> like i'm not that at all so please just shift thank you and here's some key questions for all my babes even if you're not in nigeria but you're trying to talk to somebody especially a nigerian man here are the key questions you need to ask is there any girl that would be upset by the conversation that we're having right now any girl think that they're in a relationship with you when was the last time you spoke to a girl <laughs> because if you don't ask these questions if you ask a nigerian guy directly do you have a girlfriend he will what lie to you so it's better that you do yourself a favor and ask the questions indirectly because you can always catch them you know true you get me discuss on my channel that i do want to move to nigeria in my life <laughs> like to live and it's crazy because you when you tell people that they're always looking at you like are you mad the country that people are trying to jack back you do you want to stay yes i want to stay <laughs> um and i think it's just a matter of people not really understanding um when god puts a passion in your heart when you know it is a God passion, is when it's crazy and people don't get it. Even you say if you don't get it. But this is a reminder for anybody who's watching. I'm not saying you should go to Nigeria, but whatever passion or whatever you feel like God is leading you to do, be obedient and follow your passion. No matter how anybody around you, your family members, your friends, people, random people may feel or may say, stick to what your passion, your gut is. And even if you made a mistake in that passion or whatever gut feeling you thought you had, at least you tried. At least you took the trial to say, I tried. <laughs> I've experienced more of Nigeria um, in this trip than I ever have, like, ever. And I feel like it's more so like God, like, 
Omo, I hope you are seeing what you'll be living with. <laughs> um, I, I mean, like, I'm the biggest advocate when it comes to Nigeria, when it comes to Africa as a whole. If you guys are not supporting Iruka, go and support Iruka. Quick little plug Iruka is my nonprofit organization. Basically, with Iruka, what we do is we're building an empire of African youth to change and transform Africa. Let me change the direction. But yes, we're building an empire of African youth to change and transform Africa. Um, and so, basically, with that, um, Iruka is a nonprofit. You can definitely join our team, follow us on Instagram, and just support us by donating as well too because we need your donations, we need your money, your mula, your coins, your kudi, your owo. Yes, we need it. But anyway, Sha, back to what I was saying. So basically, um, like I was saying, this trip has been very different than others. Um, I've learned a lot. I mean, like I said, I'm the big, I'm a really big advocate when it comes to Africa, when it comes to Nigeria, when it comes to, you know, just Africa as a whole. And I think sometimes I do make a lot of excuses. And I feel like this trip really did show me that oh, Nigeria is pretty messed up. Um, though I already knew this, but really understanding the degree, um, there's a there's a fault in every sector of like every system. There's a fault in everything. And um, I mean, it's easy enough to say, okay, well then yeah, I had to give up because I can't fix that. But I've kind of taken it as a challenge <laughs> to want to change those sectors that I see or the things that I can do and put myself in those positions whereby I can be able to make that change that I want to see. So I think it's going to happen overnight. No, in Jesus' name, I would live to see Nigeria change and just in general, Sha. But like I said, I've experienced more of Nigeria this year, this time around being in Nigeria than ever. I spent three hours, three to four. I spent three to four hours in traffic. Okay, that was not fun at all. <laughs> Sweating and dying of heat. This year also, I've experienced the hottest of Nigeria ever. Like, I don't think I've ever been so hot. Like, I need to find a new makeup routine, which I plan to do. I'm gonna do a video with you guys, showing you guys a whole bunch of Nigerian products, uh, makeup products, and basically how to have that sweat-proof Lagos makeup, um, which is what I'm working on. I think I found my technique. But anyway, Sha, um, other than that, like, I've learned a lot in my stay. Um, yeah, oh, I'm falling. But anyway, Sha, somebody's looking at me. Stop looking at me. No, see. Anyway, Sha, but yeah, so that's that. Anyway, I've been MIA because when I was lazy. And then another reason why I was MIA is because I got discouraged. Um, I think it was just a matter of me not really being grateful for where God has brought me as far as my content and as far as just the year in general. Like, I had a lot of goals and I think a lot of us did. But one thing I want to encourage everybody to do is really just really sit down and really evaluate the year. And though the things that you put on your vision board, ah, what, what the actual hell? God, I'm doing video now. He's looking at me. Anyway, shout No, the guy is rude because he actually, I just said God, I'm doing video and he could hear me. Um, yes, I think it's necessary that we all evaluate and actually sit down and think about the year as a whole and where God has actually brought you, though you didn't have... Hello. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> to see. I think it's necessary that we look at where God has brought us from. Um, to see where God has brought us from and really evaluate the year as a whole and see like okay like though not everything on my vision board came to pass but there's even things i didn't put on my vision board like a girl boy whoever's watching like <laughs> i wrote a book i'm actually going to do a book are you kidding me my non-profit has now three focuses i have over 50 members in my non-profit that's only two years old um we were able to raise money this year though it wasn't the mouse that i wanted though i didn't get to feed 5,000 widows but i didn't get to do everything i wanted to do though i didn't get to be on a danny tv like i want to danny tv put me on a danny tv i'm funny <laughs> though i did not get all those things God has been so faithful. And even when I think about the year as well too, there was no way that I'm ready for those things that I wanted either. Um, because like, I, there's still I need to know. And the things that happened this year is like, I need, like if those things had happened, if I had blown this year, Oma, 
I don't think I was I don't think I would have been able to balance it. God is doing a new thing. The Bible verse that God hasn't put in my heart. And I think this is the Bible verse I'm gonna meditate on for the entire 2021. And it's Isaiah 43, which is behold, I'm doing a new thing. And I this is for anybody that is watching this, like you have been faithful with small and God is going to bless you. 2021, like I don't see 2021 being, oh my god, it's gonna be better at Corona, we don't have to wear masks. Oh I feel like 2021, we're gonna see even more mad things. Get me. I would I would like to be a a terrorist but one thing i know is even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you will not fear any evil why because god is with you he's your refuge i'm really ready to take 2021 by storm and i know that like this is something that everybody says be right before the year end like you know we're going into a new year but genuinely i mean it like i want 2021 to be a consistent amarachi amarachi that even though she gets discouraged she still puts out content and tells you guys i'm discouraged but i'm still putting out content i want the 2021 to be a year that I really enjoy my life. I want it to be a year that I really deep who I am and who God has called me. Like, if you're, if you really don't know the name of your name, like, sorry, if you don't know the meaning of your name, I suggest you go and Google it. Like, what's one thing God has been constantly deeping on me is your name speaks for you. My name is Amarachuku. Amarachuku means the grace of God, the mercy of God. Grace is unmerited favor. When I did those things, and a lot of times we have to remember that if things don't happen in your life, it's not because God didn't allow them to happen, it's because you had no belief. God just said something. The reason why things are not happening in your life is because you are not believing. You are not you are not taking that word and running with it. If you write down things and goals that you want to see for next year, one, one thing I'll say is do shoot for the stars. But we also have to remember to be realistic. A lot of times on my on my vision board, I'll be like, I want to get to 100K. Oh my, are you ready for 100K? One. And two, how is that really realistic? Of course, crazy faith. That's great. But there's some things that it's like why not enjoy the process why not get there gradually and that's not to knock down anybody's dreams if you if your goal is 100k and you're at 1k shoot for it i believe in you okay if that's your faith but for me like i decided that i want to enjoy the process like i barely even know my 6.1k followers that i have now i want to have a community with you guys i want to grow you guys i want to invest in you guys and of course i want to grow so next year my goals my goal is a bit smaller than it usually is but it's something that is like I'm willing to enjoy this like gradual blow into where I want to be because nothing too is like if you get where you want to be overnight oh my there's no fun like you miss the purpose in it and all that like I don't know how to put it like I just want to get where I want to be of course and be where I want to be but I want to really enjoy the process and be happy because when I'm too busy focused on getting there so quick I'm not happy well, and really thanking God for where he's brought me because at my age, my my small age of 22, <laughs> I've accomplished so much. Yes, I want to accomplish more and I'm not saying this to say to make it okay and make me comfortable. No, I'm uncomfortable because I want to get to, at 22, I want to accomplish more than I even imagined. Why? Because I know the God I serve and I'm impacting on his word that he can do exceedingly abundantly above I can ever ask or think. And his word also says that they that know their God will be strong and do exploits. And I constantly am back on that word but I'm not deeping it like that means that anything I put my mind to like this so far as I say I want it it is mine like you have to and it's not something that happens overnight and I'm saying it for myself as well too that I literally have to continuously tell myself that when I walk into a room people notice me I'm favorite when people come across my channel they subscribe like it's something that I have to constantly constantly tell myself that like even as this video I'm putting out people will watch it they watch it all the way through I will get quaint <laughs> from you guys you watch the ads club i'm not putting i will put non skippable <laughs> like you know it's just a thing of really just believing in yourself and going for it though and then also training your mind to not look at the reality of things like um that's one thing i'm learning too that as a christian my reality is not what i'm seeing my reality is what i want to see yes come on come on say something sister <laughs> my reality is what i want to see i am i already see myself like and that's one thing I'm starting to do too. I wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and start to practice my speech for when I'm the president of a country. <laughs> start to practice my speech for when I'm the speaker for a country. Start to practice um, my speech for when I'm in the Senate, Nigerian Senate. Like start to practice my speech when I'm one of the people who are amending the Nigerian Constitution. Start to you know what I'm saying like start to practice. You want to be in interview? Start to sit in your room and start to practice what you will say. It's better to practice in the spiritual realm so that you know how to talk to man. Come on.
I just said something again. And even if you don't believe in God, even if you just believe in Jesus as a teacher, everybody can say Jesus is the best teacher ever. Muslim will say it, Hindu will say it, and uh, who again will say they will all say it. That Jesus is the best teacher that ever lived at Omar. And there was a few things he said that made sense, that make you to speak like if you really think about it, it's like there's so much things that I'm no longer settling for. Like, I don't know if you guys don't understand. Like, 22, God really is answering my prayer when it says that I want, like, there's so much I want to change. 22, my mindset, the way I think, like, I'm in this, I'm in a period of beholding where I'm gathering so much information. Like, if I want, if you want a certain mindset, like, I'm listening to certain people every single day. I'm even starting to copy their style because I want to implement that kind of woman, not in the sense I want to be them, no. It's a sense that like I'm beholding. Beholding is a period of like gathering and sweeping together and getting together. Like it's like a, uh, what's that English? You know, I don't know what animals do it, but like right before um, the cold, they start to gather around food and stuff. Like, you know, I don't have to put it like a gathering time, like because I need all these things before I blow. I need this mindset before I blow. Because I, I want to impact nations. I don't want to impact my community. My community is too small. Y'all don't know me. <laughs> Do you see who I am? Just look at me like that. Just be looking at me. I am for signs and one. And it's not even to boast. It's not to, and if you feel that way, I'm sorry. You can dislike the video if you want to. I'm, I'm speaking facts. If you don't feel this way about yourself, that has nothing to do with me. Let me tell you who I am. Kamukwaki Onyembu. And I am, I am for nations. Nations will hear my name. My name is going to be in history books. I'm telling y'all this now. <laughs> and you know what's funny? People watch this video and laugh. I even told somebody something the other day that I wanted to. I was like, yeah, I want to live in Nigeria. I want to work in Nigeria. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job in Nigeria that pays not only in Naira, but also in dollars. And I'm going to work in a government job. And eventually, I'm going to be in the government. They laughed at me. It's funny, they laugh now until they see it. I'm gonna let them keep laughing, let them keep, let them continue. Even your family members, they will laugh at you, they look at you like you're crazy. They will try to change your dreams, but stick to what you want, stick to your passion. With time, when they see what God is doing, when they see that this passion is not actual booty, that it's a, it's a dream, it's something that God put in your heart, it's a passion, they will start, they will so come. But it's up to you to stay focused. Do you get? I'm in a period of beholding, and I suggest you also enter that period start to gather around if you have a passion close your eyes or more stick to it if you don't know what it is start to pray for it god will give it to you is that a bug that's green eh? <laughs> no go and come back up when i finish can come okay yes anyways i'm gonna talk to you guys later <laughs> um expect a lot of videos you know i don't know if i want to post my videos the other videos i have this year or if i want to save them for next year uh, next week but if this is the last video that you guys get from me from 2020 i love you guys so much i wish you guys the best i will see you guys all in 2021 you will have an amazing uh, transition God will bless you and start to write out your goals. I'm excited. I know that they will come to pass. If you want to share it with me so we can pray together, please feel free to DM me or comment. On, I mean, if you want to comment, you can comment, Sha, but I wouldn't suggest that one because there's too many enemies of progress. But anyway, Sha, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Sure, get. <laughs> I'm practicing my Yoruba and my Igbo. You get me? I was since I was speaking Hausa. <laughs> anyway, Sha, I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to stay good, stay popping. And you ever folks. I'm about to stay good, stay popping, and you are limitless, okay? Udo. So waiting day, my order. My sweetie order. She just did but